That's right, Nalty. It is happening. The control is happening. Hi, everyone. Obviously, I'm playing control today. Still pretty eager to see where the story goes. Um, where did I leave off? I believe we had to go back to, like, the main area. Our sort of a hub. I forget what it's called. Because, um, the brother has shown up suddenly. Looks to be interesting. I don't know if I trust him. But hey, we'll see, right? Well, without further ado, let's get into the game. Man, I... I am hyped. I am absolutely hyped to crash some more. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. It's a good thing that this game is extremely good with its uh, saving. Otherwise, this would be the crashes would be so much more frustrating. Yeah, here we are, old familiar. Now, this is the part where I have to remember all my buttons. Telekinesis. Oh well, no, I can't use anything in here. This is this is safe place. This is good place. Alrighty, boardroom. At least I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Darling knows stuff. Okay, before I talk to you, though, I see some shit here. Oh, we have speech analysis on the hiss now. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, that's a, that's a good term for it, actually, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords in speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word variant, the most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these ways to drag you away. <laughs> are we the you the Hiss are referring to? Does the Hiss believe humanity, possibly not all non-Hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Hmm. Is this possibly the Hiss stating stating how they arrived here, or an indication of its age. Yeah, the hiss, like, came out of fucking nowhere, really. There is clear in intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. Must be saying something. More literature. Linguistic ability. A lot of hiss stuff, huh? Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the hiss... <clears throat> entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeat, repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent hiss entities has been observed. Phone, why are you going off right now? Oh, bless, it's nothing. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is this how the hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message? An incantation? I can see what I'm supposed to read first here. We were able to find, record a first-hand rec recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Fascinating. <laughs> Pretty nice boardroom, too. I need to read initial impressions. Well, this is even for further back. Uh, initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically char changing their behavior. Hmm. Curiously, any person wearing one of the rare, one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. Hmm. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, oh, hello, <laughs> Jesse Faden, who possesses an in who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This can indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other Hiss that I have dismissed the theory. Oh, that's what you think. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms by the of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss? More work to be done. 
Yeah, I remember that way back at the start, actually. They were just like, they were more hissed than anything else, so they just fucking died. <laughs> Is there something else here? Oh, there was. It wasn't this, though. Salvador's ID. Should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Tomasi. More case files? Evidently not. Never mind. Okay. No, you can. No, you meet containment procedures required while bound. A CRT television built by Ben Coff and Sons Electronics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this, this effect for their own use. See report redacted for the results. Tested with prime candidate redacted. The object is currently bound by redacted. The object was first. Yeah, the object was first discovered in a local news story from Redacted, Kansas. Kansas. A figure had been seen redacted over the buildings. Over buildings, rather. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town, who discovered that, the, that a man named Redacted had bound himself to the object. Mr. Redacted was detained, see case 39HU656, and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. Hope Mr. Redacted is okay. This is stuff we've literally already watched, so that's fine. And there's the hotline. Alright. Wait. Wait! There's always more reading to be done. Timeline event of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of, of events for possible p patterns in his behavior. Establishing the timeline is difficult at present because of the lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Hmm. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpoint pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Oh, is that what we've been working towards, I guess? Other outstanding questions that have a, that a timeline may help answer. How did the hiss get past the internal lockdown? That doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would stop the hiss. How does hiss resonance advance through space? Deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimension destination? I'm curious about that myself. Okay. I think I've read all of the things. That means it is time for talking. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh God. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems... More in control, more Roger. present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Yeah, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Upper floor up the stairs. Clear instructions. Unless you're me. <laughs> Wait, what? And she brought him here. She's gonna get us all killed. What if she told him this is a hiss? Isn't it strange she showed up just in time? I mean, fair? Wait, who's that? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. This is our rookie stages. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There were six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hefs, and Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. It was Beers and Wings' plan. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. And they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I figured we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. 
I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Hmm. Oh, still stuff What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. <laughs> you know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. <laughs> At least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have afterwork beers down there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that kind of um friction between other departments and security, I can relate to that. <laughs> it, it sometimes it could be something really simple, because like it, it is a very office thing, it's also a very store thing. It's like in LCBO, because you know that's a Canada thing, we have to get our alcohol from LCBO. I work security at various locations there, of course. And naturally, what you want to do is you want to have a good amount of like expensive and flashy stuff near the front to like catch people's attention as soon as they walk in. They're like, oh, wow, look at this is there. I wonder what else they have. Or they'll pick up something from there and they'll go buy it. But also, by keeping that near the front, it's very easy to have people run in, grab it, and then run back out because that stupid one-way gate does absolutely nothing. You can hop over it. It's zero effort. So it's just... <laughs> Little things like that, so I can I can, I can relate to this guy. <laughs> oh man. What do you know about Doctor Darwin? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Damn sciences. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word. So. <laughs> Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. If he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? <laughs> but it's so dull. And it's yeah, exactly like all these little snippets that are just like, oh yeah, they're 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 all working in an office together. What they're doing is obviously completely otherworldly and unnatural, but they're they're still just a bunch of office mates, and they all have to deal with each other's shit. <laughs> I love it. Uh, also, he's getting a little psycho, but HR told me not to use that word. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the field. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. <laughs> Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. Sure. But the medical definition, not fun. I'd believe that, really. <laughs> How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends her rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. <laughs> what do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know intense but given the stuff she's seen i'm not surprised she does have a bad habit of disappearing where does she go last time she vanished i did some digging into the security logs i found camera footage of her entering the quarry she was down there alone for days now typically that's not allowed but marshall is kind of above the rules i wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry hmm. I still don't have a good pulse on Marshall, but I will agree with him saying that she's badass, because she's pretty fucking badass. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. Clever, clever. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction. Because, of course, 
in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather <laughs> rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. <laughs> Don't have to start from scratch. You can just buy the rights to another show and just reboot it. Oh, my frames are dropping. I completely forgot to do the thing I always do. Also, hi, Clara. That's why. One moment. This shouldn't take long. What are you doing? Oh, that's what you did. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Properties, monitor, none hurts. Yay, good, perfect. Wait a second. Okay, that should be better. Yes, definitely playing this creepy thing again. Alright, back to it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, much better. I was doing a lot of reading. A lot of files I just found. If they're in there, we go around that way. What's over here, though? Where are these new missions all coming from? Jab, I just did an assignment using Wink Listen's recursion. <laughs> I'm glad I understand almost none of that. Sorry, sign. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on a need to know basis. Well, I need to fucking know. I'm a <laughs> upper level executive, damn it. Alright, bro. Uh where am I going? Oh, no, well, it's still Central Executive. Gonna have to lurk for usual. Need to file my tax. Jeez, okay. Best of luck. That is rough. That's just a radio. Oh. Shifted bathroom? Com really? Listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been mi has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the in the Islamabad Islamabad hmm, station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went, Doctor Rodriguez. <laughs> I'll come every once in a while, and or if I hear you panic, I'll leave this in the background. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. But it probably will, especially if one of those trash balls is concerned. Yeah, this would be it. I'm just, I'm listening. I should probably stop listening. You are on through time, the thunders come to expose you. Happiness come by purple, but yellow, and red in the eye. You will know the word of his name, right? Be your knees like butterfly. Push for things, give yourself a sneeze for light. You will respect you, you, you are this betrayal. Quit standing around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You oh boy. The thunders come to expose you. Happiness come. No, okay. Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench hmm. and Darling made sure of that. Hmm. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. 
You've always been the new you. You want the Please stop that. Truth. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. Oh dear. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Nah. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to help me. Oh? You. Uh uh. You came in through the hole and you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true. A copy. Of a copy. Of a copy. Of a copy. Stop it. Orange Ant. peel. Shit. Shit. Orange peel. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small in ordinary in the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector but she didn't help when trench took me away uh oh she didn't give me any powers all the powers are my own powers and she didn't help when they locked me up for years <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> Good timing, Clara. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They open the door up to the hiss. Oh, That's the only thing I can thank them for. No there, way. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm here one is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, yes. Baby, baby. Just plastic. So pretty. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Fine. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can always hear our words, but you forget. We shut off the slide projector. Maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister, the horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador huh. wanted me to have it. Wanted? Huh. Well, shit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for the slide projector. You can help me. We can end this. Did I get it? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Mm. Off to a good start. Mm. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. Uh huh. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, and locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names 
boy's name. Could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. The hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? Good talk. Good, good, good talk. Good talk. Good talk. So I'm going to contain it now, I guess. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves. What's the deal? She must have aid. She's probably on Teresa's recon. Then she should have taken us with her. I need some action, goddammit. Okay. I guess only, well, I guess only a certain type of person can become a ranger. Just a lot of notes. Amazing that there's not really anything to read in a room full of notes. Crazy. Anyway. How about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying we saved them at maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. Hmm. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's a personal attack on me, friend. I, I need you to relax. Ooh. You've already recorded field notes on those subjects. <laughs> Reese is awesome. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mall cop. Mall cop is what, you, is what people that have never been security guards call security guards. Ah, containment sector, I assume. Ah, yes, this place. So where am I going? Oh, the blackout area. I assume levitation will help me get there. Good. Ah, yes. That's how you fight. Corpse! <laughs> oh, no. No. Anyone else? Oh, yep. Hmm. Wow, there's quite a few of them. I see you, Orb. But I killed him so quickly that it doesn't matter. Oh, hi. The only one around right now. Oh, <laughs> if there's no one to support, that just fucking vanishes. Cool, that's good. <laughs> Mall cop, yeah, you still ain't getting in. Thanks for the insult, though. It'll definitely change my mind in the future, maybe. <laughs> Object and item distinctions. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Yeah, what the fuck is the difference? Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities, see file PUT812 for an introduction to the subject. Secondly, 
Objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. Oh. Okay. This is widely believed to be due to the... Uh, redacted. Though I would guess boards. Affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane. Astral plane. Plane. Which indicates the redacted evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are more, much more paranaturally redacted than altered items. Hmm. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have redacted altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Yes, good. We'll just keep all of these items in one place. Nice trees. Oh, hello. Any other reading I missed? That's probably it. Alright, where was I? Hmm. Surprised nothing attacked me here. Uh, or astral. Oh, can I make a new one? Jukebox tokens? I will save this, the source. Use is precise with a shark shot that penetrates armor and. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that ain't bad. Shatter, this unlocks the second slot. Upgrade spin to this one. Mm. I don't want to give Pierce a shot. Eh, I made it funny. Hey, Kathy. Done with work and eating. Okay, so you're in, you're in a good place right now, then. Hmm, done work and eating sushi. All right, well, before I unlock Pierce, I would like to try it some more. So, how do you switch again? Oh, not with that. Not with that. Coworkers and I are feasting. <laughs> Okay, so I have spin. I'm gonna keep grip still. Here's East. So interesting. Well, I guess we'll try it for a bit. Make sure I'm still going the right way here. Got security, which I opened up. Hello? Aha! Tell me there's no higher there's no higher security clearance than six. I'll be very annoyed. Oh, hi. Effective. Oh. What? Oh, that's for a mission. A lot of these missions have popped up suddenly. I'm just trying to keep my eye on the prize here. Prime candidate program. Oh, this is where it all happened, I guess. I wonder who P7 is. Oh boy. Oh boy.
This gun requires a level of precision I do not have. Mostly. Oh, you like this particular level, Nalti? I cannot wait to see why. Wow. <gasps> nope! Hmm. <laughs> I thought that was a trash ball for a second. I got real scared. It should work against you, shouldn't it? Eh, sort of. It's too dusty. Where's the fucking orb? Uh. It's like, cool how I'm doing no damage. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Better. Okay, this one's actually pretty good. Okay. Of course, the mail tube system. Wait. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I just noticed the floor here. I'm just like, hang on. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, see you soon. Yeah, right, Clara? <laughs> and I just have to, like, walk on it. Oh, man. That messed with me for a real second. It... it bend... A lot of different places to go. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? Oh, sure. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. I didn't realize I walked right into it, but okay. Outfits can't what? Hang on a second now. Oh, I guess I have nothing. Thought I got an outfit though. Hmm. Jesse faded movement tracking. Oh boy. It'll be a ah control points. Okay, so I did see it somewhere. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, she was hopping around a lot actually. This Jesse Faden fellow. Mirror supplement? Oh, it's a Victorian mirror. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated 
a sudden rise in disappearances in Redacted, Illinois. The agents found the item hanging in the local library. They obtained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. We certified that the case of Mrs. Redacted has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. What? Her fixation with the family looking glass with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. What? Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines un confines until her affliction has passed. Signed, Doctor Redacted. What? Typical female stuff. Throw, throw, throw in the asylum. So, this is something. Last scene. Huh. All of the times I felt Sounds like a woman with hysteria. <laughs> right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Fucking yikes. Wow. Wait, wait a second. Shoplifting? Are you telling me that for this entire game, I was in control of a criminal? Imagine shoplifting. Imagine. There is no excuse for shoplifting. Figure out a different way to feed your family. Put down that loaf of bread. Get a job. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in deeper into it, like it shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the spy projector. The dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? what? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Um. Did your parents drink? Um. Did that make you uncomfortable? Um. No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with it. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting? Into a hidden world? Escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Talk to your psychiatrist. So tell me what you did that day. Well, uh, I started... The, gar the garbage was looking kind of full, so I had to throw out the trash. Hmm, interesting. At any point in your life, did you feel like trash being thrown out? What? Ooh, box. Weapons, oh, yeah, this again, okay. Now well, let's take care of it. Personal mods, weapon mods. Okay. Let's get rid of some of these old ones, why don't we? There. Nice and clean. Okay. Pierce, though. 
zoom. Mm, yeah, okay. Damage while low on health. Hmm. Rather just not get to low health. I guess I will just use zoom for the time being. Wait. Oh, nah, it's just the tape. Alright, let's continue. Oh, okay, that's good, I guess. I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Oh man. Yeah, oh. My god. First time I've used melee in ages. <laughs> oh, is that it? With the car before I can go home. No worries. <sighs> Literature. Work chat. Dead dog. You see your creepy teeth delivery. Sorry. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It'd been rotting in that box since they pa since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Oh man, that is a, that is a pissing contest I would never want to be a part of. That's a lot of red, and I can tell what's usually happening during red. Don't you watch me. Oh yeah, the wall's looking funky. What is... What is... What is... Uh, okay. Well... Time for... Hmm, okay. Time for a game over real soon. Or a crash. Well... Inventory list of required uh, materials. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. Vitrifi vitrified soil. Redacted pieces of various sizes and colors. Animal carcass, possibly canine. Rusted metal bucket. Leather wallet. Aged shotgun cartridge. All materials go to the investigation sector for further analysis. Alright. I reckon I'm going to have to take the elevator to get down there. <laughs> okay. Billy and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. That was yeah, that was the dead dog, I'm sure. <laughs> Ooh, that is a lot of red. Has the hiss tried blue? Blue's not a bad color. Of course, I did just make a mostly red glam on uh, FF14, so maybe that's why. Okay. It appears I've been spotted. Hmm. They make very good carcasses to throw. Can I just... Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> nice. Oh, throwing big things is satisfying. Nope. Okay. 
Check engine light turned off in my car. You, you mean it turned on? It says you can... Yeah, so clearly this isn't supposed to be here. Okay. No, it's been on for a while. Oh. Oh, okay. I understand your concern. Okay, control point get. Ah, so satisfying to watch. Okay, I drive home now. <laughs> Be safe. New York City subway. What? Ordinary at oh oh I see well sort of board countermeasures oh it's just these things okay natural constructs yeah let's upgrade this thing I really like this gun nice. Oh, let's check the random personal mod. Okay, right. I see. So our outfits are only in the main one in the executive. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can see why they do that. That's fine. All right, let's throw another mod in here. What's that? Eagle. Oh, wait, no. Damage while aiming. Ooh. That's neat. Launch energy cost minus 60. Ooh, that's nice. Launch energy cost minus 20%. You know what? I kind of want that. Surely that won't come back and bite me in the butt. Oop. Access the ordinary AW gear to by rotating the terminal tracks. Uh oh. Hello? Oh no! Ow! I didn't realize I was. That thing wasn't dead. I'm dead. Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't completely forget I could fly, I just chose not to. Yeah, we, we, we knew it was going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Still, better a death than a crash, right? So where does this put me? Oh, literally right here? Cool. I think I spent the source already. Oop. Wait. How do you... I've evidently forgotten how you switch guns. No. 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 Oop. Is it X? Okay, cool. I don't know how I forgot that. I see you down there. Hmm. Okay, let me make sure I actually kill these things this time. So I don't get surprise blown up. Wait. Oh, they're attacking the trash ball. You idiots, you can't kill it. Nice. There's gotta be a way to 
videotape these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. It's on the other side over there. Yeah. Yeah. No entry there. All right, we're going down. I don't wanna. There's nothing along these paths, I guess. Don't worry about me. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Oh, yeah. I was hoping it couldn't quite reach me, but it can. Bridge operator! And this, oh, God. This just reminds me of those weird mushroom monster things. All right. Fuck. <sighs> good luck, eh? I don't like when people wish me good luck because it means I'm going to need good luck and I don't want to have to need good luck. <laughs> well, it's in here. All right. That's absolutely not an annoying sound. Uh, and you're still down there doing whatever it is you do. So wait, what's blocking it? Uh oh, never mind. Cool. Less cool. Something's blocking it. Uh can I just fly over? Yeah, yeah, I can. Just hearing that thing go nuts down there. It's so angry. Think? Yeah. Alright. Fuck you, screaming egg. I see you, box. need around here. Wait, I saw a door. I have to make sure there's nothing back here. And there isn't, so we're good. That's a good noise. What's in here? Oh, it's just a room I was in. Okay. Hmm. 
This seems like a place things might spawn. But I guess not. I like that you can rip panels off, actually. Oh. Oh, it's you! Great. Ah, I could have shielded in time. Hey, it worked. I hate you. Cool if I could get all my energy back, please. Or er, health, rather. But, you know, it's whatever. But there's a box and something else, I think. There we go. Ah, mm. uh, hello, boxes. What will we, uh, what will we be putting you in? Well, there's one thing. You're not a box, though. I did it! The fuck? There's probably another one, so... Yeah. And one more. But wait, where's the last box? Unless there's more to it than this. Hmm. There's nothing up here. Oh, you're home. Very good. Very, very good. You have traveled safely. Alright, yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> Alright, oh, well, there's a third one. Hmm, that could have been bad. Now, where, where, there you are. I heard a real loud noise. Which I guess was the elevator, because it just suddenly opened. Search for this live projector object of power. Right. Thank God. Did hmm. Ah, God. 
God damn it. I hate being surrounded. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that got real spooky. Got literature? Airplane evaluation order. The airplane in question has a, has been brought in from a private air airfield located Located in the town of Redacted, Cincinnati. It is, hmm. it is suspected to be connected to Redacted, AWE. See case file, Redacted for details, and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector. Brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Ah, special access Redacted. That would explain that. For more information on tunnel, Redacted, and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and Redacted, see file 412 4 4521. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for redacted redacted, and initial readings have been taken by research team, although no altered status has yet been de detected. Uh, you never know. It's always the planes that end up redacted. Nothing here, just a dark room. Yeah, it was already over there. Okay. Yo, it is kinda bright though. Really? That was so much worse for me than it was for him. Oh, yeah? Hmm. The first slide was a room, f room with dirty wallpapers and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. Oh, the house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. I know who DF and JF are. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Note, likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom. Note, likely Tom Barlow missing. And his gang, Freddy. Likely Fred Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo. No one by this name was found in public display records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. Really curious about this projector. Yeah, that's right. You disappear harmlessly. Hmm. Oh, yes, energy. Gimme. <laughs> we good. Am I going the right way? Oh, it was back there. Accept me. Fine. Uh, oh, there it is. Thought there'd be something. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years shining a light. Thanks for staying with us. Here's our first caller. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary. 
call it? No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it was oh. an industrial <laughs> accident. I mean, that's what they said. <laughs> well, please watch my we call it. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Por Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. <laughs> it's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. <laughs> Ordinary summary. They really had to call it Ordinary, didn't they? An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary, caused by an object of power, slide, pro slide projector ID 00P15, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Oh, really? On August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, oh, she's the big sister, huh? CP7 materials, were play, playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. <sighs> Darling presentation, so on and so forth. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. Wow. Darling and Trent showed up in person, eh? It's a big deal. In total, 17 surviving individual individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews redacted and prime candidate program files redacted. Was there another prime candidate among the uh, survivors? Kind of wonder. Oh? <gasps> The ladder. Die trying. Goggle stole my bed. I'm not convinced that's your bed to begin with, Kathy. I'm pretty sure that's just Doggle's bed at this point. Anything in here? Oh, I already listened to that. Okay, something's about to happen. What's this? Alright, let's read before we have to kick ass again. He claimed my bed and now demands pets. <laughs> again, just not yours. <laughs> After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, he started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. EF. Tom and his tr troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. 
They had been using the temple slide, we called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there. Not mother. Hm. Lived there with her babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. Uh huh. They were changing it to little monsters. Uh huh. We called them dung monkeys. Uh huh. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation not mother. Well, this is poor. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Snappy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh Preemptive attack. Okay, guess we'll just shoot. Yeah, that works better. Whatever I grabbed there was on fire. Oh. Alright, that's cool. I'm glad to have another one here. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. Uh. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. So tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. I... Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 21. 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is bleeding, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! No, there is no calendar. How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck Casper. Hey, hey, hey uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need. I mean, I, I wasn't even there, and I was getting annoyed at the questions, to be honest. You know, what day, you know what month it is today? I don't know. I don't have a calendar. You know what day it is today? I don't know. I don't have a calendar. What day is it tomorrow? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Ah. 1B. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then, when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Holy shit. Neil was really into it. We found out that he'd be coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. Damn goons. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation, meadow. Neil turned into a dog or something. Hmm. 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 Would really like to know more about this projector at this point. 
Hello? Whoop, wrong button. <laughs> Just broke a wall. Fine. Orby. We went in and met Polaris, like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. She made us special. It felt like being born, or reborn, the world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the knot mother were coming straight at us. Oh dear. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them. All except... All of them except hand. A confirmed existence of paranational entity designation Polaris. Oh, we're just getting deeper and deeper here, aren't we? The woods, the dump. No, the big things are happening here. I'm not sure I like it. Search for the slide projector on power still. Not sure I like this. It's not comfortable. <laughs> Stage four. Uh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Looks like I can grab this stuff too, but I don't think I should. Nothing over here, right? Oh, box. Wait a second. Let me check out these personal mods real quick. So energy recovery plus 38%. Oh, damn it. Ah, I don't want to move that. That's so good. All right, never mind. I'm throwing it. Oh, fuck. We have a named one. Ugh. Oh, fuck. How many of you are there? What? Oh, you are... Tanky lad. Ah, it's still coming. No energy. No energy. Give me energy. Gracias. All right, you need to stop. Go on, shoot another one. I fucking dare you. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was doing maintenance here. Probably Yachty. All right, what we got here? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up, only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. 
No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's just, I feel an emptiness and yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. Are you referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Her office. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Hmm. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Oregon. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, hmm? it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and hmm. Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from, I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They, I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Hmm. There's so, so much fucking lore in such a short time. I'm like trying to trying to digest it all here. And mostly failing. So Polaris caused whatever that thing was? The accident that is? Guess we'll see. Yeah, I broke it. Yeah, alright. Literature? Alright, yeah, same dealio here. All that ordinary. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews, redacted, and redacted for relevant information. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse... Uh, obtained therapy sessions. Fuck you, I hate that. Sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts providing all three sources contain conflicting data. For example, Dylan Faden claims that there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too, da too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual res responsible for burning the slides. Notes, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the Ordinary Town dump be brought to the Bureau for investigation and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Ah, that's why it's all over here. Okay, I see. It is a lot of stuff. Not to mention the complete restructuring, uh, restruct restructuring uh, the town down there. All right. Dark. Computer. Oh boy, and that's the dump. That, that that's just the. That's just the whole ass dump. Wow. Landfill here in the middle of New York. Right. Nobody saw a thing. Sneaky. Pretty unbelievable. Sneaky dump cessation. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. 
Resources will be allocated to the redacted department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Art Darling immediately. Alright. So that stopped, evidently. Alright, you know what? Before I get into this uh, dump thing, and it's sure, sure it's going to be fantastic, I'm going to do a quick BRB. We have made some progress. Okay, break time. We're right back.
Okay. <clears throat> I'm back and ready to continue this madness. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, the plot is thickening. Alright. Okay. The dump. Sure hope things don't attack me here. What's up here? First of all. Aha! Globe supplement. The item was found in penthouse suite at in the penthouse suite at Redacted. Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Oh my god. Belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. See case 13HQ37. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, included redacted, redacted, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. <clears throat> Article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment... Oh, man. Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping... My ties? Hmm. Never heard of those. While well, the world thinks he's dead. Uh. Oh boy. Trying to illegally sell paranatural stuff while the Bureau literally exists seems like a pretty risky business. Uh, one sec. Uh. Gotta sneeze. Gotta mute. Oh. Sounds like you don't want to feed your family whatever you want. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I have a bit of fear of the virus and the Bureau. <laughs> ah, look at that. That's right. Fuck you, Orb. Didn't mean to hit you. Yeah, except I can still see you. Chilling good. Well, I can't see you guys down there. What if I hop up here? Oh, they're in hot, they're in hot pursuit. The hottest pursuit. Yeah, that's just not gonna work. Hmm, okay. Fox. Oh god, must must they scream? They could just not scream. Cool. Oh, less cool. What? Oh, it went up the stairs. <laughs> I have only myself to blame for that. Oh shit. It's a named. It's another Tomasi and I hate it. I'm staying over here. Yeah, that's why. Not this time. Not today, Satan. Hey. 
Thank you for screaming. Oh, I see you. Holy shit. This would have been significantly less fun if I was down there. Oh, you can't hold that forever. sniping. I'm so good when I'm not being bad. This is why you know I could totally feed my family whatever I want, Snappy. Nine or something when I found my dad's old gods album. I became a huge fan instantly. Nice cover. Is there just gonna be stuff like this all around the junkyard? Because it would make sense. Got a couch. Got some trash. Should I say the line, Nulty? You know the one. The only line I could say when confronted with trash and garbage. Anything over here? Mm, nope, just glow in the dark stuff. That's right, don't touch my garbage! All this trash. Don't touch my garbage. Don't touch my trash. I need a break. Oh, I'll bet you do. <laughs> I will bet you do. Uh. We're at the trash yard because they relocated an entire trash yard over here. An entire trash yard. Hello? Oh, it's you again. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I don't know what. Oh, boy. Erwin took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. Whoa. That's where we go next. Oh, God, Dylan, please. Okay, so I guess that's the end of that. Hmm. Spicy. Get all this garbage. Oh, we're here again. I recognize you, bowl of trash. God, I'm afraid of you. Okay. 
Dimensional research, eh? Yeah, Dylan. Dylan's her brother. He's uh, he's not doing so hot. Or maybe he is. Who knows? I'm just gonna go ahead and ask. Uh, no, no, T. Do I do I access this place via the elevator? Like I've accessed the other places? It would make sense, I think. Okay, cool. Isn't it cool how you just told me that? I almost feel like I just want to waste time just for the hell of it now, though. But also fast travel? I don't know what fast travel is. Sorry. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> What's that room over there? Oh, no! Oh, no! Trash ball, no! We could be friends! Why are you like this? Oh, box. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, guess we'll get away. Oh, that's rude. That's heckin' rude. Heckin' rude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they dodge. They, they dodge. <laughs> and they're very good at it. They seem to have the same powers that I do, in terms of telekinesis, so yeah. Hmm. Anyone else? Something else throwing stuff at me? I'm an excellent shot. My heart wouldn't be able to handle this. <laughs> down there because you're attacking the trash ball you absolute fool yeah below it was <laughs> mm -hmm. all right should be a fast travel over here oh. here we are Seven ability points. Seventy five percent to launch damage. Yeah, we're getting that. Seventy five percent to launch damage. And you can launch three objects. Energy Oh, I'm saving up for that, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Central research. Looks like central research is the closest. I think. A little hard to read this map sometimes, but I think. Good 
Feels like it's been a while since I was last here. Research ashtray maze. I don't know what that is. Bad news, this is a dead end. Oh. Stairways. Stairways? Candy skill. <laughs> the cafeteria. Oh, there's Darling's office. That seems important. I think there's a hole you can fly through? Okay. Actually, being able to fly wouldn't. Flying being the key would make sense since I couldn't have had it earlier. There's a hole here. What a strange thing to have. Alright. Okay, so it's not around here. Maybe. Can I get up there? Hmm. Probably from a higher vantage point. Oh, hi! Suddenly surrounded! Man, I'm good. Oh, you're a big lad. Okay. Oh, God. Oh god, machine gun powerful. I should have blown the shield while I was holding it. Alright, let's try that again. And you know what? <laughs> Better a death than a crash. So, I was over there before. Yeah, all right. Where are you at? Aha. This is entertainment. <laughs> it ain't wipes, but it's pretty good. Okay. Sounds like there's more somewhere. Hmm. Oh, okay. Found him. Cool. 
Is there more? Yeah, okay. Oh god. Okay, small lads first, then the big lad. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. We'll pick up that energy. All right, now, before I was so rudely distracted, Okay, yeah, it looks like we're on the right path. Yeah, dimensional research. Here we are. I'm the director. Can't stop me. Wait. <laughs> what? Broken. How many dead ends can this place have? <laughs> we need to find Ati. Broken. Contact the gender. <laughs> uh. Right? This is a... This is a very interesting part. Oh, Christ. Okay. Indeed. It's a... It's the best kind of maze. One that changes itself as you move through it. This isn't the labyrinth you were waiting for, was it, Nalty? An ass trick. God damn it. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, it is? This is it? Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll go to Ati first. So you li Oh, you literally have to go back to him, huh? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Like, actually go back to him? Because, like, he's not somewhere in this maze. It's really cool, though. <laughs> Very cool. Always read the location. What, are you telling me to read? Hell nah. I don't read? What? Imagine. Alright, maintenance. Ventilation. Asking me to read. <laughs> I'm here to play video games, not read a book. Am I right? Well, here we are, but you read so well. Psh. It's not like tomorrow I'm playing Omori, which has a shit ton of reading. Get out of here. Ah, come on. Or orbs, actually. I gotta get rid of that orb first. Otherwise, this is gonna take forever. Wait, is it gone? All right, sure. Hmm. Hi. I should find the others. 
Oh. Okay, so that was one part of the quest. Anyway, we're not here for Reese, we're here for Ati. Boy left, said the son of Anniki Daddy. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lobby lumps, holiday hops. How can anyone even get out of here while the building is sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. He wasn't kidding about the holiday, huh? <laughs> Oh, cool, it's another one of you. Great. Yo, that hurt. Okay. He's a lot of ammo. It was a lie. Time to be out of energy. Get out of here. All right, that was great. That was good. I think that went well. Hey, he, oh, there you are. about this. I can't get through here anyway. Huh. Did I go the right way? Oh. Wait, no! Oh my god. Oh. This, however, is reading. Furnace complaint. Are you the furnace? Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that thing, right? What is the furnace even heating? And who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little... I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for, the, for a replacement. Oh, that, that's the furnace. The furnace. I see. Uh, what? Me lumps. Holiday homes. The sun is warm, the beer is cold, and the kosu is in ice. 
Oh, Ati, you probably deserve it, friend. Alright. Shit. What now? What do you mean? Old enemy the Glock is blocking the pipes. No. You need to deal with them. The He's very clever. He's trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the peace trap. Get rid of him. Oh no. The poop monster returns. Oh. What? Oh my god, these things. Ah. Uh, I noticed those things sniping me over there. How unfortunate. Okay. This time. Let me just back away a bit. God, really? Weapon mod. Hmm. There we go. That should help. Okay, my weapon mods were full, so let's take care of that. Ammo cost while levitating? Hmm. Rate of fire. Energy gain from headshots? Hmm. Damage boost? Alright. I do believe I'll use that, eh, that damage boost. That's just straight good. Yeah. Now let's trash some of these things. Okay, till next time. Oh no. Really don't like those little flower things. fell down there. Oh boy, oh boy. Time for another trip to the motel, eh? And here we are.
Suomenlahden länsiosa, Pohjois-Itämeri, Etelän ja Lounaan välistä tuulta, tuulelta 12, ajoittain noin... A lot of ladder out there. Hmm, I don't like that. Can't do anything about it, looks like it. Okay! Let's just close the poop door. Yeah, cute, right? I don't know if that was correct, but I did it. Sounded like a flush. <laughs> ah, lovely. And it looks like our journey here is over. Or not? I did pick up the thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing... Nothing to interact with at this time. So, something's not done. Maybe one day I'll see someone behind this desk. There's something nice about returning here every once in a while. Done. Oh, there's a casino? What? Oh, shit. Pretty confident I picked up the key. Did I not? Hmm. I can't just pull this again because it doesn't work like that. Let's, oh, it is behind the counter? Jan mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the normal way. Ugh. Oh. Well placed point. Oh, black rock, black rock again. Controller's doing some weird rumbling. Don't like it. Hmm. 
Our response team was this a response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Redacted Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved a I'll? Oh, I. AI. 63. Yeah. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Redacted Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field Agent Redacted accompanied a squad of Ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile, volatile altered item which they successfully retrieved. Ooh, so much for just training, huh? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like this rumbling going on. I don't like it. What? Huh. Alright, well, anyway. Come on. Get there. Get there! No! Uh. Hmm. Oh, hi. Mercifully, that was all of them. Got to get over there. This place is a little bit of a maze. Hmm. A little bit of a maze. Still has the screaming trash eggs, though. Because why wouldn't it? No, is this closed? Oh, guess not. elevator doesn't work. I'm assuming the elevator here should work, because that seems like a lot of blackness to fall down into. A lot of empty blackness. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I can just slow drift down, can't I? Well, let's try. I think this is infinite. Okay. Show me the way, Hottie. Somehow. It takes me a little while to realize that they're bad. <laughs> it's like, wait, your faces aren't supposed to be red.
Aww. One v one me. That was effective. Y'all can't even 1v1 me. You suck. Oh. That was a great decision on my part. <laughs> I just pick up things so haphazardly I don't notice whether or not they're explosives. And then I end up blowing myself up. Oh, hey there. Okay. Y'all ain't just letting me go, are you? A decent vantage point here. Or not? Ooh. Right here, Auntie. Feels bad. All right, let's try it again. It feels bad to lose against the last set of a bunch of enemies, because then it's just like, God damn, <laughs> gotta do this again. Still better than crashing. Still can't complain about this combat system, though. Every time I've died, it's just been because of my fuck-ups, so... That's, that's pretty good. How about no? Okay. This time I'm re oh, this is explosive. This time I'm ready. Aha! Right, I gotta hit this thing. All right, here we go. Look at that, I jinxed it.
You'll never guess what just happened. Hmm. Well, it's not a control stream without a crash, so that's just, just the way it is. See how far back this sets me. Well, I'll probably be at that point that I got. God damn PC port jank. Still. Uh, compared to my last control stream, this is like the first crash. I think by now in my last one, I was on what my fourth. That's why your life is such a struggle. But you have quick access and easy, quick and easy access. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, Rich. Here's the thing, buddy. I I can't I can't find it anymore. After I got that can, they've like slowly been vanishing, and I can't find it anymore. So what now? Yeah, that's right. Not only, not only is the game crashing, the vanilla Coke supply is crashing. It can be, and it is. It's fine. This is probably some kind of cosmic balancing. I've had it too good. That's all. There is no god, no. But if we get enough crystals and gorge, and gorge it on either, we can summon our own vanilla Coke primal. Like when you'll do anything to have vanilla coke back, suddenly all the all those uh, beast tribes calling their primals, it makes a little more sense, you know? You, you understand. Not fighting you. Goodbye. Woo! Explosives. All right, once again, into the fray. I did not mean to fall down here. You can have that. Internally debating whether I want to even start this back up again. Internally debating that. I don't I don't I don't know if I want to. I'll try it one more time. That's it. That's the that's that's the last try. This doesn't work. That that's the end of the stream. You can't you can't you cannot possibly make something this janky. You can't do it. Like you can't. Like I know I said 
that the last time I played, I had four crashes by now. But that doesn't mean you have to try to catch up, like, at the end, all at once. This is all because I can't find Vanilla Coke anymore. I don't know how they're linked either, but rest assured, that's the reason. The signs were coming. <laughs> surely, surely they were. But hey, that's okay. Third time's the charm, unless it doesn't work. In which that saying is, uh, you know, false. Still not fighting you, goodbye. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hit float. I didn't hit float. I didn't hit float. I didn't hit float. Ah, uh, it's on me. Oh. That, friends, is haste creating waste. That is what that is. That's me having done that jump so many times that I'm very tired of it. <laughs> God, I remember when I did that whole fall and I was just floating the whole way just in case? God, I was so stupid. So young, so naive. <laughs> Past Blacksmith is, a, is an idiot. He didn't see any of this coming. <sighs> okay, pick you up. Throw you here. Push button. And get ready to brawl. Someone else shooting there? Yeah. Cool. Good? Great. No crashes? Great. No! 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 Nope. 
amazing that in all those throws I did, there were no crashes. Fucking wild. Okay, the thing came, I guess. Oh, speakers. Finish Tango indeed. <laughs> I'm burrito wrapped in cozy. That does indeed sound cozy. It'll be a real shame when you do have to move, unfortunately. <laughs> we get the multimedia for this song. I can appreciate it. This is just the thing that calls it, yeah? Probably. It's really dark. Except for... You know what? No, where are we? There's something up ahead. Do you see it? What is... Sorry, boss. Don't mean to disturb you. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have this in your shop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a mood. You lit hood. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Oh, so this is what we use for that, huh? Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. Indeed he do. All right. Well, we'll claim this control point. Then I am probably going to just, um, probably going to travel to the labyrinth or as close as I can get to it, and then probably call it a stream. Of course this area, of course this area is unmapped, why wouldn't it be? Ooh, close, one more ability point! Ashtray maze. But there is a control point, like, right outside of it, there it is. It is.
Alright, so yeah, I am probably going to end the stream now. According to Nalti, this is, a, this is quite a part to watch. So I want to be at full energy and zero frustration when I get to uh, tackle it. So yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, because like, I'm almost empty now. I could keep pushing, but I wouldn't feel too into it. So let, let, let's not do that. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's the end of the stream. Hope you all enjoyed watching. I hope I was at least entertaining. I always hope that. Uh, tomorrow, or the day after, as per my usual rules, I'll be streaming Omori. Which I know a certain someone totally not named Reverb is looking forward to. I'm looking forward to it too. I really like that game. So yeah, that'll be it. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow or the day after. If not, that's all cool. I hope you all have yourselves a great night. Bye-bye. Can't believe that crashed so much. Two crashes. In the same spot, no less. Uh...